Welcome to Boise, Idaho, where fans describe a home game in one way. We get them on the blue, and that typically means trouble for anyone who tangles with the Boise State Broncos. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Utah State Aggies, taking on the winners of four straight, the Boise State Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. the move from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Broncos offense will get the first crack at it here. When this guy comes onto the field, David, he seems to bring the it factor with him. So much fun as a play caller to have a guy you depend on, you trust. You know, Palmer, you're going to get the best out of this young man. He's also one of those guys, David, who just elevates everybody else around him, right? All 10 guys in that huddle offensively just seem to play better knowing they've got confidence in this guy. From the gun, running back on the move. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Coming after him. Oh, he needs to get rid of it. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. Gets the first one of the day out of there. He ought to be fresh. They only used him twice in that victory last week. Hey, you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punch cover unit. The Aggies offense has the ball for the first time. Here comes the offense on first down. The handoff as they run the counter play here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Utah State up tempo. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. On the run, it's Genty. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, and a of possibilities here. Quick release by the QB. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. From the gun, the running back has it. Turns it on in midfield. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. I'm the offensive coordinator. I am finding more ways to get this guy to football. I feel like he is just a home run waiting to happen. We saw it in his last game when he had over 100 rushing yards. He's almost at the 100-yard mark now. And the Broncos have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Boise State. The best running backs are the guys that can just sniff out the end zone. That running back showed you all of his freakish ability on that play. He 
PAT unit on the field. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. They'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Utah State up-tempo. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Got room at the 35. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. Leaves it with the back. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. This Utah State offense has it going. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. The Aggies will snap it on first and 10. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. All the way down to the 15-yard line. It's first down. They'll put the tight end in motion. Quarterback on the keeper. Oh, they knock him free. Quickly gets back on top of it and prevents a turnover. So the officials take a closer look and the replay booth will overturn the call. On second down, he's looking downfield. Unleashes to the end zone. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Getting some heat. And the pass rush is effective and they tackle him at the 19. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. It's good. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, and they get the ball back, but that's just going to make it much tougher on this drive. And listen, quarterbacks run more nowadays, and we see more of it, but they do have a tendency, because they are a quarterback, to cough it up a little bit. But how about the man? He said, I got this, and jumps back on it, makes sure he covers that thing up so he didn't make a bad play for his offense. 
Oh, they are breathing a sigh of relief after that recovered fumble. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Broncos will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll bring it back. It's Bowman. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. And the Aggies want to crank the tempo. Off the play fake. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he tried to pin him deep with that punt. Instead, it goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Boise State ready to send out that offense. The give to the tailback. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. Using his legs, it's Genty. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. He'll try to do it himself. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. And the Broncos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Time to take a shot. And he dropped it. Oh, what a missed opportunity. Nobody around just had too much time to think about it. Dropping back, it's Nelson. He'll take another shot here. And he's got it inside the 25. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Fires to the wide out. A strike downfield. They get him stopped at the five yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Broncos! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst. And he showed all of those attributes right there. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Utah State, three. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Still running at the 40. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with a first down. Utah State up tempo. They'll throw it on first down. Fires left. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. They'll line up for a second down play. Give to the running back. Still on his feet at the 45. And he was...
is on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and 10. Man, that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push, get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. Yeah, I, might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It worked so well. On second down, wants to throw. And the defense gets home. yippee ki -yay at 35. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. They can feel uncomfortable. They can feel that pressure. Keep getting them on the ground. That's why they've built the lead. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Pressure coming. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They'll try the right side. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. All kinds of running room. And what a huge play for this offense after that great run. That guy is so much fun to watch. He rips off another big run. I'll tell you, the identity of this offense is their ability to get it done on the ground. Had over 100 yards rushing in their last game. They're already over that mark, and we're only in the first half. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. They'll give it to the back. They're just trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Offense working from the pistol. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. The Broncos have this offense rolling. To the ground with the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Got three on first down at second and seven. Hand off to the lone back. Finds just enough room to pick up a couple down to the 26. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. Looking downfield, it's Nelson. Trying to get to it. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism, he's got length. He's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that sack. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. He'll have to generate power and some accuracy. A 50-yarder from the left hash. He boomed it through. A 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. UConn looks like a bunch of world beaters right now. I'm not sure I've seen this offense look this crisp since the days of Dan Orlovsky. They're up 14 over Temple. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. Hand off from the shotgun. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not doing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the field. They go to the draw, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Running it back, it's Genty. 
They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Offense set on first down. They'll try the run. At the 45 on his way. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. And they say a quarterback's best friend is a good run game and a good running back. I think he agrees. Over 150 yards on the day. I don't even think I need a quarterback the way he's been running the football all game long. And the Broncos moving quickly to the line. They're going to go right back to him on first down. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. It's a draw. Defense holds their ground, pickup of a yard. It's at the 26. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. Oh, it gives him the tough stiff arm. Works his way ahead for about three yards, stopped at the 23. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. They're trying to get to it. And he finally went down. You can't expect to be protected for that long. Just tremendous coverage by the defense. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole, and you just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Well, they've already made one. The holder will put it down at the 38 for a 48-yard attempt. He got it. And now the lead is extended a little far. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on the board. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Fires to the big fella. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Coming after it. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Utah State up-tempo. On third down, going up top. They're bringing heat. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. They'll look to pin him deep. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. Offense getting set for first down. He's looking to throw it. Sends it downfield. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And back to the air on second down. And the heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Takes the handoff. It's Genty. On the move in the 30. 
He gets just a few links away from that first down marker as they almost convert on third down there. The Broncos will punt this one away. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. You gotta be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. Getting some heat. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. They'll go to the ground. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. He gets it away from his own end zone. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. First down here for the offense. To the air, it's Nelson. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Let's it fly. And he bats it away. It falls incomplete. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And how about this? They're going to send the kicker out there to try to put a thunderfoot into one. As someone once said, from way downtown, bang, outside of 60 yards. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Here's the return from inside is 10. They finally make the stop. That's going to make those halftime stats look a little bit nicer as we head to the break. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Boise to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Albertson Stadium. And the Broncos will kick it away to crank up the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. He'll do it himself. Got enough for the first. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And now you just completely flipped how I play defense. I'm not really worried about the quarterback running the football. I'm like, okay, he's, he's number three or four on my list of who I think can beat me. But now he does that. Now it puts it in the back of my mind. I got to think about it. I got to stay home. I got to stay disciplined. Nice little, nice little curveball by the offense. Running back searching for a hole. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run with the ball. Utah State up tempo. He's looking to throw. 
using the back as a receiver on the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. This drive's been productive so far. Already picked up a couple of first downs, now out close to midfield. They go to the ground. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Offense in the hurry up. From the gun, the ground game. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and ten. He's going to pass. He lobs one high down the left side. Pulls it in inside the ten. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll run it to the left here, looking for the goal line. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. This offense desperate for a score here to try to stay in the game. It's third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Going for six. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. And he'll try to knock through a short one, his second of the day. This one from 23. Never a doubt. That makes the score. Boise State, 23. Utah State, 6. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. Here's the handoff. Fakes his man out. Picks his way and gets four after the 27. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Looking for a man. It's Nelson. He looks that one in nicely. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. This time, they'll go to the running game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Pocket starts to collapse, and the ball's free in the backfield. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there, and that led to the fumble. Utah State sending against offense back onto the field. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, David. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. play action on first down feeling some heat fires to the right all kinds of room to throw that one in there 
Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Utah State. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ball game. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Nebraska is ahead early in Lincoln, but that's not exactly Mike Rozier out there running the ball. This game is a long way from over. They're up by a field goal over Rutgers. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. That first down was rather unproductive. Let's see what they've got on second down from the 16. Hit as he throws. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now the seventh sack of the game. The Broncos will send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Makes a move. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled, you realize what's going on. Now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. Pressure coming. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. Another sack on the day. This offense has to do something different. Maybe bring in more bodies, run max protection, keep more guys in the block, only send a couple guys out to run pass patterns. You got to do something different. But bottom line, you got to protect that QB. Utah Number State will be forced to send out the punt team. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Things have been clicking along nicely, Jesse, but they have to make sure they keep it up. Yeah, they got to wake up. It seems like they've been a bit lazadaisical here the last few drives, maybe, as we've seen this lead dwindle a little bit, David. So they need a bit of a spark here to get that mojo back. Yeah, and you always have the adjustments, and then your opponent adjusts, and now they got to readjust now because it's getting... Oh, look out! The 40 at the 30. He's at the 10. So close to that end zone. He can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. You're going to win a lot of games if you can generate explosive plays. That's what we've seen in recent weeks from this football team. But this offense, man, they are every defensive coordinator's nightmare because of the players they've got lining up all over. After that big play, they're trying to pay it off right on the goal line. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Broncos. No midseason doldrums 
for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown in the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Fielded in the end zone, it's Bowman. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Utah State up tempo. Brings up second down. The play action fake. Trying to get to it. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, they wanted this guy catching the ball on the right side of the field. They could have just lined him up over there, but they didn't that time. He started off on the left side. He crossed the defense and made the catch on the right side of the field. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. The Aggies come to the line with a new set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He'll pull it on the read. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. The gift to the back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And here comes the field goal unit. This kicker has already made a couple today. And it's right down the boulevard. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll start the return inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Looking for a man. It's Nelson. Can't rest up. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. This defensive end is an animal. He already has two sacks, and we're only in the third quarter. I'd move him around a little bit more defensively so that the offense has no idea where he's lining up. Because right now, man, he is feasting. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Makes the tackle really strong, disciplined job, and now we have one period to play. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings.
One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. On third down, he drops the throw. They're trying to get to it. Fires into traffic, picked off. Trying to take it back. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. It doesn't get any better for the defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. To the air. It's Nelson. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. He's going to work on second down in the red zone. Is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Leaves it with the running back. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Third and long, and they can get the first down without scoring a touchdown. From the gun, wants to pass. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Bounced right back to them. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job with ball security. So here comes the field goal unit again. This kicker has already made three in this one. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And that will extend their lead even further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Penn State was able to squeak one out in front of those home fans at Beaver Stadium. In fact, I think in the end, the difference may have been that Happy Valley crowd who leaves happy with the win. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there, Kevin. Thanks for the update. They'll start this drive with a pass. Pulls it in. It's Davis. And he's down after making the catch, but did not reach the line to gain. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages. And they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Shotgun snap on third down. Grab near the marker. It's Lane. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Utah State up-tempo. They're going back to the ground. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Got a man. It's Davis. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Out of the shotgun on third down. Got his man out of the backfield. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Coming after it. 
They got him. It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. Well, that play never had a chance on fourth down. They're trying to catch the defense off guard, throwing for it, but no protection. Quarterback didn't have an opportunity to step up and get rid of that football. Give the defense credit, man. Tremendous aggression there on fourth. Line gets set, first down. Gonna run it, it's Genty. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. They got nothing on the last play, it's second and 10. They'll leave it with him. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. Power football with the run. Relying on the run, he gets a couple before he's knocked down. Balls at the 13. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They'll try to get it through the air. is away from the heat. Touchdown, Boise State! And the pummeling has started. That'll give them a little more breathing room as they try to push this winning streak to five. He just makes it look so easy. Impressive run. So impressive. Time and time again, he can buy time, make you look silly. And the defense is just kind of like, wait a minute, you got him? I got him? No, no, no. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Utah State, 16. He'll bring it out. It's Davis. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating, because you, you think you might get points, and then your defense gives up points. This has got to be a complimentary football-type deal. The offense now needs to provide a little spark and give this defense some hope. No doubt, David. they got to turn the page, and they've got to play with a little bit more urgency here, knowing they've got to get that one back. And, put and they got him for the sack. The name of the game is protecting your quarterback. He can't have success or complete passes on his back. Let's get the quick passing game going, maybe hand the football off. But whatever we're doing, let's go the opposite direction. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Plenty of time in the pocket, and he'll sling it out to the left. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. and Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. This Utah State offense has it going.
Leaves it with the back. Knocked down after a pickup of six, and they're trying to impose their will in the red zone. Balls at the 13. On second down, looking to throw. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the marker, it's Lane. Touchdown, Aggies! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big bodied frames, threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip them in the secondary, make that big play. No backs with the quarterback as they line up for the two. Calls his own number. Diving for the goal line, and the ball's knocked free. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. The score, Boise State, 40, Utah State, 22. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. Few anxious moments there, but the hands team true to its name as they make the grab and get the ball. Boise State ready to send out that offense. The give as they work on that clock. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. And the offense takes over to dip into its bag of ball plays. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with the first down. And hey, listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. We've reached the two-minute warning and we see miracles in college football all of the time. And they could use one here. Fires to the wideout. Grabbed in the middle. It's Bowman. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. To the air on first down. A deep throw as the clock winds down. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Utah State. Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. Ready to try the point the after. And it's up and good. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Oklahoma State will need to mount a comeback, but those fans that were there when Justin Blackman was a two-time All-American, they know this game is not over. It's still a one-score game. They're trailing by eight to West Virginia. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Timeout call by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. The give to the back. 
Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Let's see what they do on third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Didn't get much, picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And now the lead is even bigger. Well, that kid just showed up. His hammer for a leg, 50 plus, and he did it with ease. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. He wants to throw. He's going to fire deep. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. They're bringing heat. And he can't escape, and down he goes. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Getting some heat. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Takes the knee, and they will remain perfect. Plenty of fireworks in this one. A lot of points. They always talk about having the chalk last, and it seemed like whoever was on offense had the last lap. Yeah, it's amazing how much offense has just boomed in college football. So good. So many ways to hurt you. And you saw both of these offenses put on the show today, Jess. Dave, we talked to both of these coaching staffs, and their defensive coordinators were losing sleep all week. They knew this was going to be a tough task ahead of them. So much speed, so much firepower on both of these offenses. And, man, we saw that here today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.